The cost of buying scuba equipment can vary greatly, whether you're saving up to buy one item at a time, perhaps grouping into a set of gear which can often save you a lot of money, or working within your budget and buying secondhand gear. There is a simple formula you can use to work out when you should be buying versus when you should be renting, and how much you can afford to spend. So, whether you're new to diving or a seasoned professional, put some pressure on that subscribe button for weekly videos on scuba diving skills and tips. Let's dive in. Welcome to Waterline Academy, my name's Paul and in this video we're taking a look at the cost of scuba equipment. Now there's only one number you really need to know, but before we get into that, leave a comment and let me know what scuba equipment you're looking to buy and while you're at it, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel. It really goes a long way to helping me grow this channel and make better videos about scuba diving. Now I said there's only one number you need to know and that is the number of days in a year you're going to go diving. Once you know that number, it's quite easy to work out the difference between how much you would spend on renting equipment versus buying equipment. And you can actually use that number to work out how much you can afford to spend on equipment, regardless of whether it's one item at a time, second hand, or buying it as a group set. Let's take a look first of all, at what the cost of renting equipment is. To simplify this, I took a look at the daily rental charge of a full set of equipment at various places around the world. And what I came down to is an average of $61 a day. California in the USA came in at $82 a day. London in the UK, $125. Cape Town, South Africa, $35. Phuket, Thailand, $22. Sydney, Australia, $70 and the average is $61 a day. When it comes to buying equipment, everybody's situation is gonna be different. Different budgets, different types of diving, and different number of dive days in a year. So I've had to simplify that and make a few assumptions. My first assumption is that you don't buy a tank. I've left a tank out because most dive centers will rent you a tank for the cost of a fill. But if you did decide to buy a tank, you could simply add that into the equation. My next assumption is that you keep your equipment for five years. You could keep it for longer or shorter, you simply adapt the formula. I'm using five years because that's normally how long I would take to depreciate the value of my equipment and it helps to keep the formula simple. I assume you spend $250 on a set of soft equipment. Your mask, snorkel, fins, wetsuit and weight belt. You can spend more or less but that's probably a good jumping off point and it's good just to have a single number that we can work with in this example. I'm also assuming that you keep that equipment and you never sell it. The resale value on that sort of equipment is going to be quite low and that equipment can last you a very long time if you look after it. I've had the same mask for over 20 years. It's been on more than 1500 dives with me. I've lent it to friends, my wife's used it, and I have no intention of buying another one. If you'd like to see that mask on Amazon, I'll leave a link in the description below. I might earn a small commission if you did buy one. I'm also going to assume that you buy equipment as a set. Now you can buy it in individual items and the formula stays the same. You just work out each item on its own rather than grouping them as a set. For this example, I'm gonna use the average cost of rental around the world. If you know that you're diving in a particular area, you can call up a local dive center and ask them for their daily rental cost and use that in your equation. For your hard kit, your BCD regulator and a dive computer, I'm using $999 at the higher end. $750 at the mid-level and $699 at your entry level. That'll give you a good comparison to work out how much you can spend on dive gear given the number of dive days you have in a year and the cost of renting equipment for a day. Although it's unlikely that you buy all of your equipment at exactly the same time, I'm gonna put all of this into the same purchase just to give you an idea of how this formula works. And you can use this formula whether you're buying one item of equipment or an entire set all at the same time. This formula gives you the cost of ownership over the lifetime of your purchase. You can use this formula to work out anything from buying diving equipment to buying a car, a bicycle, or anything else for that matter. It's a simple way of evaluating your investment. 
You take the purchase price plus the cost of maintenance and you deduct the resale value. For this example, I've looked up the cost of maintenance of a BCD around $50 a year, a regulator around $100 a year. To work out the rough resale value of any item of gear, I generally depreciate an item over five years. And the formula I use depreciates by 20% each year, which means that the depreciation for next year will be based on the value of the previous year. Let's start with our higher end purchase at $999 on hard equipment. I'm going to include the soft equipment at $250 and $750 in maintenance, which equates to $150 for each of five years that I own the equipment. I'm going to deduct the value of $327, which is the value of the equipment at the end of year five. That gives me $1,627 as the cost of ownership. If I were to rent equipment at an average of $61 a day, that means this equipment has cost me 27 dive days. That's less than six dive days a year. For the mid-level equipment, I'm using $749 plus $750 in maintenance and $250 in soft kits, less the value of the equipment at the end of year five, which is $245. That gives me the cost of ownership at $1,504 or 25 dive days over five years, which is around five dive days a year. Our entry level package at $699 plus maintenance of $750 and soft kits of $250, less the value at the end of year five, which is $229, gives me a total cost of ownership of $1,470, or 24 dive days over the five years, which is less than five dive days in a year. In this example, the difference between the high-end equipment at $999 and the entry-level equipment at $699 is a difference of $300. However, by the end of a five-year period, that gap has narrowed to $157. Over a five-year period, the difference between high-end equipment and entry-level equipment could be as small as one dive day a year. That means you could potentially justify spending more on equipment and utilizing it more over a five year period. I always recommend that when you start diving, you do at least 25 to 30 dives before you start buying a serious amount of equipment. When you get to 25 dives, you can look back and see how many days of diving it took you to get there. And given the cost of rental versus the cost of ownership over a five year period, you can quickly work out when it's most cost effective to be buying equipment versus renting. Now, if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and watch this video for more scuba diving skills and tips.